okay second frequently asked question is how many marks I should aim for in J on that I would say you are not supposed to have any figure in your mind regarding number of marks you are supposed to get to get through J because J is known for surprises every year there will be variation in difficulty level of a paper as well as in subject wise right so w w your aim should be you should solve as many questions as you can without counting the number out of 30 maybe 10 if you are solving 10 questions that may be very good effort depend if paper is tough and if say out of 30 you are solving say 20 question that may not be sufficient if paper is very easy so these kind of figures you should not have in your mind if you have uh, confidence on your preparation and say if you are able to solve only 10 question then it should not bother you in the during the exam in the examination you should not think that 10 questions are not sufficient for JE so you decide to put r random ticks on rest of the question and this may happen if paper is very tough 10 questions are more than sufficient and because of that random tick you'll get too many negatives and you are out of JE and if you are not if, and if you were not doing that maybe you'll get very good rank so how many marks are sufficient whatever you're getting right that is not decided on that day that is decided what you have done in past two years or one year of your preparation right so in whatever rank band you are competing you'll get that rank only if you are not trying anything extraordinary right so whether you are able to solve 10 question or 15 question or 20 question that is immaterial the difficulty level of the paper will decide what should be the optimum marks right so you can only solve what you know you cannot solve a question which you don't know anyways and if somebody thinks that by randomly clicking or clicking questions he'll be able to get through J then I would say work upon your probabilities that's very important if you work upon probability and you will find what are the chances to get through J by doing so right and again some student will come back and say fella mr. so and so yeah that senior bhaiya got through J and he was knowing nothing he never got say top 10 rank in his batch but he was able to get a good rank in J then I would say okay, this analysis cannot be correct and if he got through J purely by chance right and if if he is that lucky then J is not right platform for him he should go to casino right he'll be built there with that kind of luck right? jokes apart so what I'm trying to say you should not have any figure in your mind that how many marks you should get because that may not be sufficient and that will that may be too much to strive for that will break tempo of your paper if you are having any figure in the mind during the paper during the paper what should be in your mind first of all I'll select easiest question in the entire paper and solve them then I'll think over those questions which are moderate questions which I can do right and whatever marks you are getting you should be satisfied with it that's it